special promo. You have some people come in 20% off or something. Yeah. We can tell you about it. Okay. Was that shortage? Yeah. Oh, it makes it heaps easier. Yeah. Yeah. It does. It's so much yeah. better. The months of winter have been full of change for me. I've started work finished my Cert 3 course studying marine conservation and restoration, completed my last prax and organised vocational placement for my studies, and have had a heap of new projects going on. I've been filming many different YouTube videos, cooking and creating new recipes for my website, setting up a new garden at the back of our home, and much more. But among the busyness and daily challenges, there's also been so much beauty. We've had the changing of the seasons, less storms and rain, the beautiful sunrises and sunsets, and the peace that comes with being out in nature. Graduating from my course had brought a lot of change and uncertainty for me. I don't have a clear direction of where I'm going moving forward, but I feel as though I'm in the right place in my life. I had mixed feelings after finishing the course, I felt quite sad as I wouldn't see a lot of my friends that I'd made during the course as often as before, but at the same time, I was really excited to start the next chapter of my life. How beautiful is that? I just come upstairs and there's just like this little rainbow. guys it is 5 50 a.m in the morning so the sun isn't even up yet it's probably just starting to rise just above the horizon now i'm so excited i'm going diving today near cleveland like the moreton bay area up kind of near brisbane where there's like a shipwreck and i'm so excited we're doing this for my tafe course as part of like our coral monitoring unit <laughs> I think for the course so there's lots of coral and coral reefs established around this sort of shipwreck that sunk a long time ago so we're going to dive out there I'm so excited I've never dived near a shipwreck before so I'm, I'm not don't know what to expect but I imagine it's gonna be incredible but it's absolutely freezing it's four degrees at the moment and it's pitch black and I woke up and I was like I just want to go back to bed it is so cold but yeah <laughs> I have to get going I'm gonna ride all the way to the dive center which isn't too far thankfully For one of our last practical classes for the course, we took a ferry out to Moreton Bay Island and went scuba diving among the sunken shipwrecks there to study the corals and artificial reefs that had formed over time on these ships. On our trip out to the island, we saw dolphins swimming right next to the boat, which I just love, as I've rarely ever seen dolphins in the wild before or been so close to them. One of my dreams is to be able to go diving with them out in the ocean and to have the chance to observe them up close and watch how they interact with one another. The Tangaluma wrecks are made up of a cluster of ships purposefully sunk by the Queensland government back in 1963 and 1984 to provide safe anchorage spots for recreational boat owners on the eastern side of Moreton Bay. Since then, corals of all forms have established on these wrecks forming artificial reefs and have created an ecosystem filled with over a hundred different species of fish and sometimes even dolphins, wobbegongs and dugongs. On the day we went diving, the water clarity was about 8 metres, so the visibility was a little murky compared to other days. The current was quite strong in the water, which was churning up the sand surrounding the boats, causing the murkiness in the water. I've never seen sunken chips before so this experience was so surreal for me and I hope to be able to dive there again in the future to explore the inside of the wrecks. It was like a whole new underwater world there. Our last practical for the year was learning how to make and install diversity enhancers which just helped to increase biodiversity in a certain area such as near sea walls. We made the structures out of concrete and practiced using the underwater tools to install them out in the ocean. All right. Oh, I got that. <laughs> Go. 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 
Oh, it's raining. Yeah, it's on our last night as a group, we had a dinner provided to us at Seoul Gardens in Kurumbam Valley and got to spend one last evening together before we all graduated and went our separate ways. I was really sad to say goodbye to new friends and to the course I'd loved so much. I felt like I was officially stepping out into the unknown and that really scared me. I wasn't sure what my next steps would be and I'm still not sure, but I trust the path will present itself one step at a time and I'm learning it's okay to not have all the answers and to feel a little lost sometimes. On the 21st of June, we had the winter solstice, which is the shortest day of the year, about nine hours and 53 minutes of daylight in Australia. It usually occurs on the 22nd of June, but this year it came about a day earlier on the 21st. I wanted to make the most of every minute of sunlight I could that day. So I got up at dawn about 5 a.m and rode my bike over to the beach to watch the sunrise. My gran used to love this day as it meant every day after this one was a little brighter for a little longer and I have to agree. It was one of the most incredible sunrises I've seen. The sky was completely orange and purple and it just looked so beautiful. Once the sun made it over the horizon and the sunlight hit my face, I felt reborn and my body was filled with warmth and energy. Whenever I can, I like to watch the sunrise on the ocean as I feel so much more energy on days like this and time seems to slow down so I'm not rushing to catch up with it the whole day. This winter turned out to be a surprisingly cold one this year. As I live up north, the weather tends to be more on the tropical side, but we had a very cold winter this year, something I definitely wasn't prepared for. My wardrobe was full of summery warm clothes, so I had only a few trackies and one jumper to keep warm with. At the first chance I could, I rode my bike to one of my favorite local thrift stores in Burley, called the Burley Op Shop, and bought an assortment of new winter clothes to fill my cupboard with for next winter. The only things left that I still need are a beanie and a coat, which I'll probably wait until next year to get as we're heading into spring now. One of my biggest dreams this past year since moving out is to have a veggie garden out the back of our house like I did back home. I haven't had the time or money before now to be able to set one up, but this June I finally made it a priority to start one. I've been building up the soil over the past year using my compost to create really rich, healthy soil for the plants to grow in. I then collected plants and seeds from Bunnings in the nursery at Kunara Organic Marketplace on the Sunshine Coast, choosing organic where possible, to grow these seeds in the garden. I bought an aloe plant as I've been wanting to use aloe vera in my skincare routine for a while, but I haven't had any on hand to use. I also bought a raspberry clipping from Bunnings to hopefully grow a raspberry bush out the back. So far I haven't seen too much change, so I'm looking at what I need to do to encourage more growth, and hopefully by spring there'll be some showing through. And I also bought some seeds of basil, calendula, and a mix of bee-loving flowers and herbs to attract more bees to our area. This helps not only the bee population, but it also allows more pollination for the plants. We've had a few issues with bush turkeys coming and digging up our garden from time to time, so I'm growing the seeds in pots until they're more established to then transplant into the soil, and hopefully even if the bush turkeys do come, they'll be able to withstand them and continue to grow. I'm hoping by summer the garden will start to show through and we'll have some new plants to show for it. Thank you for joining me over this past winter and sharing in my ups and downs of everyday life. I do my best to read all your comments and it really means so much to me to see your love and support left on each of my videos. I look forward to sharing more moments of my spring soon and I hope you all take care of each other. Sending you tons of love from the Aussie coast. <laughs>